Beget here, and today I'm bringing you two rifles. We got the Savage Access right here in 308, and we got the Ruger American here in 30 odd six. So let's go over feature by feature. First, they both have plastic stocks, and they're inexpensive, you know, just quickly injected molded stocks. My first complaint, I don't know if it's that big of a knock, would be on this Savage right here. As you can see, the trigger's got a cut out in there, and you can see the molded part. And what that has done is weakened the whole stock. And I can get this to flex right there. So your weak point is going to be right there where the plastic's the thinnest. Um, I don't know how much that affects accuracy in a rifle like this. Um, but remember, this is a budget rifle. And this rifle, right now, it is not on sale anymore. And I see it at Dick's Sporting Goods for $379. It's the same price as the Ruger American. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the Ruger American stock. So we got the Ruger American right here, and as you can see, this stock is one piece. Um, this is a better, I think, stock in my opinion. You can see that trigger's molded in there. It's gonna be less expensive per, to build it that way. And you know, the trigger mechanism will be attached, you know, to the receiver of the rifle, and you would unbolt it from the bottom and lift up the whole barrel and receiver assembly, and then you will have access to the trigger components, but that's gonna lead to a stiffer stock. Uh, also, the next thing we'll talk about are the butt pads. Butt pads are just about uh, identical on these rifles. There's just soft, rubbery, mushy stuff. I like them a lot. Some people probably might not like them because it's going to stick to your clothes, but I think they're fantastic. And they do soak up the recoil very well. Um, also, both stocks will sling, sling swivel studs right there. So you could put a bipod um, or more likely a uh, sling on these. The barrels are both free floated in both these stocks. They both work the same way. If you just take your finger, and go ahead and push these things, you can make contact with the stock with the barrel. So, this is what you're getting for the money, but technically the barrels are fully floated in both of these. Yeah, as you can see, we're back to the axis right here. You can hear that. But I mean, it's the same with both rifles. So, mm, let's, since I got the axis right here, we're gonna start with the bad. Let's start about the magazine system. Is there, they are the same, but they are very different in both of these rifles. This one, is a metal magazine, it's got a plastic follower. You know, it's definitely a staggered magazine and it's got a plastic floor plate right there and it's got a little, you know, molded plastic mag release right there. This magazine, when I first got this rifle, it was falling out on me. Once you learn the quirkiness of it and probably break it in a little bit, it works better and that, that was a big thing. Learn how this magazine works. But I've got it to work better. Um, but it is not, I don't think, the greatest magazine system. I think Savage could have done a better job with this rifle <clears throat> if they milled off a little more of the receiver up here and got rid of the magazine system and just, you know, made a solid stock and just had us a top loader. And uh, it would have been cheaper to manufacture that rifle that way. And uh, I think it would have been, uh, it would have been a better rifle. Um, but it's all the rage today and people love detachable magazines. And even though this rifle comes with one and you'll probably never buy any more because this is really a hunting rifle, most people will use it for that. That is the Savage Axis magazine system. And I think it's a little hokey, it's not that great. So the Ruger American magazine system right here, you take it out, first thing you notice is how much nicer the button is. The magazine release on this, it's got a little spring load and it's on a pivot right there. So it works much nicer. And this is all plastic. It looks cheap as soon as I pulled it out of the rifle and it's just plastic and it's kind of glued and snapped together. Um, but it works and it is a rotary magazine system. And if you know Ruger, especially Ruger 1022s, Ruger is kind of, that's their thing. They love rotary magazines and they make them well. Um, and it's got a little metal follower and it's cheap and junky this thing looks. This thing works great. And this is just a phenomenal, inexpensive plastic magazine that works very well and it functions very well and it's easy to load, easy to unload and it feeds reliably in this magazine and also, and it works very well. Very easy to take this magazine in and out of the rifle, install it, you hear that positive click. Ruger did an excellent job making that magazine system and that is a huge difference between these rifles is the Ruger American's magazine system compared to the Savage Axis. Ruger has it beat hands down. Let's go ahead next to some of the functions on this rifle. Um, comparing the Ruger to the Savage. First thing you notice is there's not as much throw on this bolt because it's only 60 degrees. And the reason it's 60 degrees is because it's a three lug bolt. Also to get the bolt out, you push this one little button right there, and the bolt comes right out. 
when you got the Savage Axis bolt right here, in order to get this bolt out, and this is a 90 degree, just not quite 90 degrees, but it's maybe 80 degrees, something like that, but this is just a two lug bolt. What you have to do is depress, first you gotta depress the trigger, and then you depress the, this bolt thing. So it kinda takes two hands and <clears throat> something like that can happen. But that is the design of this. So you have that little lever right there, and the trigger has to be depressed to get this bolt out right there. So you can see that's just a regular two lug locking bolt right there. Um, the bolt is nice, it's definitely a polished stainless. Um, you know, it looks well made. I don't see any machining marks on it. It's definitely a nice piece right there. I like the bolt handle on it too. I think the bolt handle is pretty good on it. Also, you can see if the, it's not as important for bulk action rifles, but you can see if the firing pin has been cocked on it. So we'll go ahead and to reinsert it, same deal. You got to push everything down and try to get it in there. But it does work, you know, and it's definitely very positive bolt retention in there. So let's go ahead and release the Ruger's bolt right here one more time. And as you can see, this bolt right here is three lug. Uh, this is definitely an, an improvement. I'm a big Remington 700 guy and I hate to bash on their system. But this is an improvement over the two lug design. Um, you know, each one of your bolts is 120 degrees apart instead of 180 degrees apart. So this is, you're, you're going to get a better positive lockup. Also, this will aid in accuracy. Um, and also, you have less of a bolt throw. Instead of the 80 degrees the Axis has, I think it's only 60 on the Ruger American right here. I like the Ruger American bolt a lot. It's simple. It's just one big piece of stainless right there. It's beautiful. Um, you know, and it's, you can see... It's just all one big piece and it is nicely machined it's just as nicely as machined as the savage axis but this one has fewer parts on it and it's it's you know which i like and it's simpler but it's a big hulking piece of uh steel next let's go over the, the simple controls on here your safety right here is just a tang safety on the ruger american on the savage axis it's the same thing but <clears throat> the safety is on this plastic extruding thing that goes into the rifle somewhere and you know manipulates the bolt or the trigger somehow has probably some trigger block to the bolt i'm not sure but it's definitely a little cheaper it feels a little chintzier um but you know i'm gonna have to give the uh ruger americans probably got a better safety on it also another thing to notice about the savage axis and this is the cost saving things even though this is a 308 <clears throat> this is long action um, they did that for definitely for cost cutting. Could, should have this in short action because it's a 308. It'll save on weight. Also, people like working the bolt handles on short actions better than long actions for the most part. So let's summarize this by accuracy and my shooting of both these rifles. Um, first, let's say is I think both these rifles are accurately about the same. I was able to shoot, you know inch and a quarter inch and a half groups at 100 yards you know with not ideal conditions and cheap you know and, and in an ex and the same scope on both rifles and an inexpensive scope and it's actually bush now it's pretty good scope for 50 bucks you know and i do like my optics so both these rifles department accuracy is going to be about the same you know inch and a quarter inch and a half rifles at, you know moa at 100 yards um one thing i noticed is this isn't as slick on the savage axis as the Ruger Americans. The Ruger American definitely have a, a slicker bolt set up than the Savage Access. I don't know if you can hear that difference, but, and just see my ease of operating, but this is a lot smoother on the Ruger American. I, I think this is a little better machined in there. It might be a little looser, not sure what it is. You know, I'm not, I'm not a machine or a technical analyst, but it feels better to me. It feels like it's broken in. Uh, when I cycled the rifle and, and, you know, I would shoot a rapid three, three or four shot succession group, I, <clears throat> I definitely enjoyed shooting this rifle more than the Axis. But again, the accuracy of both these rifles, I would say, is, is both on, they're both on par with each, each other. So to summarize this up, if you're looking for a beginner center fire rifle, even if you're not a beginner, you're looking for an inexpensive rifle as to something to leave in a cabin, given a gift, leaving a truck, uh, you know, you've got a shotgun, you've got a pistol, or you don't have a gun and you want your center fire rifle, both of these are good choices. 
Savage Axis right here is going to be a little more affordable. And again, this comes with the scope and it comes with the rings. It comes ready to shoot. You know, only thing you're going to need for it is ammunition and a cleaning kit, maybe a little, you know, soft case for it. And you're ready to roll. Ruger American does not come with the scope and ring. It costs a little more. Um, the Savage, right now in Dick's, they're both $379. But with this Axis, you're getting a complete rifle. With the Ruger, you're going to have to at least probably spend another $50 minimum. To, to get the rifle to run because neither of these have iron sights and they both need optics to work and you know scope mounting systems um, I'm gonna call the Ruger American the better rifle uh, they're both accurate um, but I think the Ruger American has better machining the magazine system is, is far superior than the Savage Axis um, the bolt with the three lug locking design is, is superior to the Axis's bolt system um, it's just Ruger has a better, smoother operating bolt, but it costs more. Um, so this rifle to me, the Ruger American, you could probably trick me if I didn't know what it was and hand it to me and I could shoot it and probably would think it's a $500 rifle. Um, it's not. It's a $380 rifle. Um, the stock is kind of a giveaway. The stocks are both cheap on both of these, inexpensive, just injected, you know, molded plastic, but they're both fine. And I think that you'll be very happy with both of these rifles. If you've never had a center fire rifle before, to get you in large caliber center fire rifle, you know, plinking, hunting, just target shooting, or just having one because you want to explore and find out what the deal behind these things is. But I think they're both uh, good weapons. And they're a little, you know, at the price point, they're a little different for, for what you get. But uh, they're, both, uh, they're both nice rifles. But uh, again, my pick, I'd spend a little extra money, I'd pick up the Ruger American. Um, and if you're on this tight budget, you're going to be better off with the access. But folks, I want to thank you for watching. And if, if you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Uh, feel, you know, feel free to ask questions. I'll be answering the questions. And, um, you know, post them below. And, uh, you know, keep an eye out for future upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, folks.